Hello brothers, sisters in Christ, hallelujah. This message today is about take off the garment of heaviness and put on the garment of praise, hallelujah. You know guys, what does this mean? You know guys, when I hear this, when I read this, it makes me think and understand that when you're going through a storm of life, when things are going hard in your life, whether it's health situation, whether it's, um, you know, guys, it's a persecution situation, whether, whatever it is, you know, guys, I want to say take off the garment of heaviness and put on the garment of praise. It means put aside your problems, hallelujah, and turn to God and praise Him. You know, guys, too, too many times a lot of us, of His children, born-again believers, we turn to Him and we complain. Oh God, how long will I be in this situation? Oh God, how long, you know, will this, you know, will this problem be here until you help me? You know, guys, hallelujah. But what that scripture is telling us, instead of saying that, we say, Oh God, thank you for dying on the cross. Oh God, thank you for all that you do. Hallelujah. You know, you're praising God instead of complaining to God. Take off the garment of heaviness and put on the garment of praise. Hallelujah. Because the reality is, is that God is good. You know, guys, and God is good all of the time. It's the world that is broken. It's us who are broken. It is Satan and demons in the world who are causing problems, killing, stealing and destroying. So why would we project our anger, you know guys, and our pain on, on a good God, on a God who made us and who loves us and a God who sent His one and only begotten Son to die for us. Hallelujah, can you see what I'm saying? You know, when you choose to praise the Lord, you know guys, it changes your perspective. You see the bigger picture that it's not God who is causing the problem in your life. It is not God who is choosing not to heal you or not to give you provision. It is not God who is causing the problem. Hallelujah. It's demons. Demons can block healings. Demons can stop you from receiving provision. You know, guys, we need to attack the demons, not attack our God. Hallelujah. We need to praise our God. Hallelujah. Because the devil and demons are liars. Hallelujah. You know, guys, and when you sing those praise and worship songs to God, your atmosphere begins to change. You start to usher in the presence of the Lord. You know, guys, and you start, you know, guys, and when the presence of the Lord comes, demons go. Because demons can't stand the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, guys, I'm not saying in this message that your pain, your situation is not serious. What I'm saying is that your God is more serious than your situation. Hallelujah. That your God can change your situation. You know, guys, if you give him enough ammunition, if you give him enough legal rights through your prayers, through your praise, you know, guys, so I want to ask you a question today. What garment are you wearing? Are you still wearing the garment, you know, the, the, that, that garment that's heavy, the garment of heaviness? Or are you, are you taking that garment off and putting on the garment of praise? Hallelujah. You know, guys, hallelujah. I believe it's Paul says, you know, guys, that we should praise God in whatever it is that we're going through. Because God uses all things for His good. You know, guys, even when Paul, and I believe it was Peter, when they were in jail for preaching the gospel, you know, they were praising God and singing to God. And those, you know, jail cells swung open. Those handcuffs fell off. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, guys, there was another scripture, you know, guys, in the Old Testament that talks about how the city of Jerusalem was, you know, um, surrounded by enemies. 
So the king got everyone to praise the Lord, to sing and praise the Lord. And God took care of the enemies and they were all taken care of and they were kept safe and sound. Time and time again, when we choose to praise the Lord, instead of, you know, falling into the hole of negativity, falling into the hole of depression, falling into the hole of complaining to God, when you choose to praise the Lord while you're going through your storm, you will see the difference. And you will see that you are giving God legal rights to help you. That you are ushering in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, guys, in the world, they call it positive thinking. And they're right. Even though they don't believe in God, positive thinking changes everything. But how much more if we we think positively and we speak positively? You know, guys, how much more effective is it if you're a born-again believer and you're choosing to be positive? You're choosing to praise God, not to complain to God. You're choosing to speak life, not speak death. You're choosing to enforce the victory of the cross rather than enforcing your problem and, and what's going wrong with you. God is bigger than your problems, my brother. God is bigger than your problems, my sister. Hallelujah. He is worthy of all the praise. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God will finish the good work that he started in your life as it is written. And Jesus says, I will never leave nor forsake you. Hallelujah. You know, just a quick message, just a quick reminder. Hallelujah. Take off the garment of heaviness and put on the garment of praise. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.